I welcome you to another series of our videos. So, in this video, we'll be discussing dimensional analysis. So, the problem we have has been gotten from seventh, uh, sorry, eleventh edition, Sewai College Physics. So, this is problem twenty-three under topic one. So, the question reads: A car is traveling at a speed of 38.0 meters per second on an interstate, interstate highway where the speed limit is 75.0 miles per hour. So this is the speed the car is traveling at or on. Then here, this is the speed limit of that particular interstate highway. So they want us to to find out if the car or the driver ex is exceeding the speed limit and we also need to justify our answer so the question is is the driver exceeding the speed limit yes or no how do we know that it's yes or no then this is why they are saying justify your answer because you can just say is is the driver exceeding the speed limit you can just say yes or no how do you justify your answer so to justify our answer if it's either yes or no let's try to 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 solve so in this case what they just want us here is um just changing one of these into to make both of them into similar units so if we change, if we want this speed to be in meters per second, then we have to change 75 miles per hour into seconds, uh, into meters per second. Or if we want to make uh, a common uh, unit to be miles per hour, then we have to change 38.0 meters per second into miles per hour. So once we change that, or when we make these two units into one common unit, then we'll be able to compare these two units. So let's do that. So in this case, la, we'll change uh, meters per second into 38 meters per second into miles per hour. So let's change that. So after changing that, we'll be able to compare with. 75 the speed limit which is 75.0 miles per hour so let's do that so the traveling speed is 38.0 meters per second then the speed limit is 75.0 miles per hour so now we have to convert meters per second into miles per hour so how do we do that so the conversion factor here is one mile is equal to 1609 meters so this is very important so we can say 38 meters over i i by this time i'm sure you're aware on how you convert now uh, meters per second into miles per hour so at this point to we'll say 38 meters 38 meters over one second multiplied by one mile over one mile over 1,609 meters. Then also you multiply by 3,600 seconds over one hour. So in short, there's, in one hour, there's 3,600 uh, sorry, in one hour, there's one, uh, there's 3,600 seconds. So 3,600 seconds is equivalent to one hour so this is what we have here then one mile is equivalent to 1609 meters right so at this point the second here and the second here uh, they will simplify then a meter here and a meter here they will simplify so that means We'll remain with 38, 1 mile, and 3,600. Over 1 here, 
over 1609 over 1 hour. So when we multiply that on a calculator, it's giving us one, uh, 136,800 miles. 136,800 miles. Then when you multiply the bottom part, you get 1,609 hours. So when you punch this on a calculator or when you divide, you will get the speed to be 85.0217265 miles per hour. So this is the speed this car is traveling at. So we can write that into two significant figures to be 85 miles per hour. So at this point, we can compare. The speed limit is 75 miles per hour and the driver is moving at 85 miles per hour. So since the driver is the, the, the driver is moving at a higher speed than the speed limit, we can say that the we can see that the driver has exceeded the speed limit by 10 miles per hour. So we can conclude that since it has exceeded the speed limit, then it is concluded that the driver is over speeding. So we have answered. So uh, going back to the questions, is the driver exceeding the, lim uh, the speed limit? The answer is yes. Show or prove. We have proved. This is proof of why we are saying yes the driver is exceeding the speed limit so thank you for watching remember to subscribe to our youtube channel